I thought I would start the artist vlog for Portrait Society Atlanta 2024. You know, the drive wasn't bad. Got to our room. You know, it's a fine room, it's okay. But literally, I guess the whole floor above us. So they're assuming that people are not going to be in their rooms. And, and it's true, they do need to update things. I can tell the wallpaper a little bit is, you know, things are worn a little bit. So it's definitely in need of a an updo. But probably we got this room or maybe some of the other people who got the free rooms from Portrait Society for being faculty gets to be right under construction. Because I find it very hard to believe if you're spending the rate you know, and um, that you would be right next to construction. But I just thought it was funny. Scott and I, Scott is delivering his painting right now. Here is the slideshow, as all hotels have, of what you can see. Lovely. He's delivering his painting. Oh my gosh, then we're gonna go out to lunch. And then I guess I don't know what we're gonna do because I do not wanna come back to this. <laughs> This is um, Daniel Spricks, his painting of Jen, and honestly, it just, these paintings, especially Dan's, I think, just do not show up in, in um, online or in print. The colors are so, so pretty and bright and beautiful. Yeah, that is really stunning. And this one is Carrie Dunn. I've, they were in here before they're even hanging. But look at, like, look at the colors on this one, man. And the you know, paintings are always so much more impressive in person. I mean, this is really big. I'm gonna, I don't know, is this like, I don't even know what size this is, but it's huge. I mean, it like, comes up to my like neck. <laughs> um, but I love the frame too. So that's really cool. So you see, they're actually waiting for a couple more paintings. And um, this is Scott, so he's gonna be the very first one that you see in the room, which is fun. And we were talking to Carrie Dunn and Don Whitelaw. Um, of course, I love Jeff Hines painting just is really masterful in person too. Like seriously, I, I could tell it was gonna be good in the, in the images, but um, in person, of course, it's amazing. I love the 2D. What do we have to check? Tim Reese. So, yep, no, this is like the library. And then I think, uh, there you go. Oh, hey, there's Caleb. Hi! <laughs> yep, no, of course, I'll be in here many, many times. Um, this drawing of this lady came from India, and um, oh wow, it's amazing! It arrived in good condition. It's beautiful. This one is huge and so, I mean, it's larger than life size the figure. So you know, I'm assuming that's hung pretty far away. These are all so lovely, all so lovely. And this Mark Pugh, he always has amazing. Um, designs and ideas, the flat, the 2D, the storybook. I mean, yeah, very inventive. It's incredible how he um, painted that chair up close. Like, wow. And Frances Bell, it was so fun to see her on um, that portrait show from England. Oh my God, Scott and I binged it. Oh, look at the dog, I love it. So good. Okay, we're off for lunch. Yay. I completely love this painting here. And here's, here's Sue and the artist. What's your name? I'm Christina Havens. And you did this painting. I did over that here. little painting Yay. yellow, which is already in fabulous company with this we one. We both have yellow. I like the yellow. We yes, both have yellow. They're working good together. We, we definitely mm -hmm. like yellow. Yeah. Now, who is this? This is my niece. Oh, your yeah, niece. Yeah, so. Oh. Um, Tell you know. us about her. 
Well, uh, she's a big old ball of energy, so this is actually a still frame from a video that I took of her when she was sliding down a yellow slide. Um, but I'm absolutely floored that I'm next to Daniel Sprick over here because oh, yeah, he's I remember seeing his work 10 years ago in Denver and loving that he could merge that reality and that beautiful painterly quality that he had. And so to be in the same room with not only you, my friend, but uh, Daniel Sprick and Carrie and so many artists that I admire just really Well, that's exciting. Yeah. Well, good. We I'm so happy you were here when I'm we so dropped our painting too. off. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Scott and I are walking to a restaurant and look at this amazing dog park. I have to tell you that I, I've, if you've seen my other videos, especially places like New York, but look at this. So there's tables, there's music, there's food. I would just love it. You can, they actually say that people who don't have dogs can come in and actually pet your dog. I chose a restaurant that was around 20 minutes walk, but I didn't realize that how big this fish was going to be. This restaurant is called Atlanta Fish Market. And it's, oh my God, so there's a bird on the very, very tip top, but I guess this is probably a landmark. I'm hoping it's really good. It is definitely at the time of day when nobody will be here, but that's fine. I just thought this was really funny. We both like fish. Just pretend like I'm not here. Oh, okay. I just pretend. <laughs> we're just talking. We're talking about New York stuff. Mm -hmm. And here comes Tim Reese. Join in. Join in. Hi, Tim Reese. What's going on? I'm a famous artist. How are you? Yay. Hi. So yeah, I just wanted because she, I told Kathy, I said there will be no problem getting these rooms filled because she's. The room with the paintings is closed, but Scott went in there, and I think they said, you know, a lot of times paintings when they ship, they get a lot of dust. So they gave him a brush, and he was dusting the dust off. And here comes Jeff Hines. And here comes Tim Reese. Hey, you filming? Nice. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Awesome. Showing people what things really look you like. Go in there and check it out. Oh, I, I was in there yesterday. No, I mean with that. Oh, I was. You're not allowed. You're not allowed. No, I was. Are you? Oh, of course. Okay. I just. Yeah. Just, I just, hey, and we got to talk about our. Okay. Do we need? I wanted to. Um, oopsie! I think I stepped on some charcoal. I wanted to show you Liz Harris. This charcoal. I mean, I was joking a little bit that this looks kind of like, um, you know, like Harry Potter stuff. She says she does this because she uses long brushes and it forces you to be very, very gentle, very, very light. So, oh my gosh, I love it. So she's going to use Mi Tiente's pastel paper. Is this the paper you're going to use? Yes. Awesome. I, I do love that paper too. I think, I think that's the paper I'm using. No, it isn't. This is Art Spectrum. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But I use that a lot. Oh, and then we have Allie Cavanaugh over here. We have like the trifecta of the three women. I'm so freaking excited. Oh my gosh, is that our model? Awesome. Oh, I think it's the women now. They've been switching them up. We did have a man, now we have a woman. I'm going to do um, just pastels on a dark paper. Haven't completely decided. I have my charcoal espresso beans that is going to hype me up. Here's your bag. Oh my gosh, oh she's cool. Oh, all right, so she's wearing yellow and green. Yeah, well maybe they, maybe she, hey, are you her model? Oh, your husband? Oh, okay, okay, it is her husband, okay, all right. <laughs> Oh, see, look at videoing a videoer. We're all videoing. We're all trying to document. That's where our model will be. Susan Lyon. Hey, Susan! <laughs> Sorry. Kate! Hi, Kate! <laughs> I know this is behind the scenes. This is exciting. So I'm just sharpening my um, pastels because right, I don't are, know. You know, I just kind of have a variety of like reds, blues, greens. And um, I'm going to start off with my hard pastels. I do have a brush. And I do have these little things. We'll see if, if I use them. I'm just kind of getting ready so that in case some of these break, I have a second. I'm, this is very tiny. I'm going to say that's about a 9 by 12 sheet of paper, but it doesn't matter. Um, I just have a piece of foam core that I'm going to tape my board to with a light above. Um, I'm so excited. Allie's going to be next to us. Oh, that's so exciting. So we're going to have charcoal, we're going to have pastel, and we're going to have watercolor.
Okay, Sue is getting set up for her demo over here. Face off with a fantastic group of artists and model. Oh, I like yours already. I actually <laughs> Very minimal. It's going well, right? Yeah. 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 It's great. Like 70% okay. of the time. Okay. I love it. Women helping women. Yeah. <laughs> Scott. Hey, I'm Jeff. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, it's good to know there's something the man can help out with. It's good to know that you are helpful. You were not here when we needed help. He helped us. <laughs> good. I, I'm I'm very I'm very for other people helping Sue. Yeah. 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 <laughs> other people that aren't me. <laughs> Scott is talking with John Coleman, and we've been having fun setting up the model, dealing with the light. I, I, Allie Cavanaugh, is such a, I always felt this way doing these Thursday night things, and I'm like, you know what? There's nothing set in stone. I told her, I said, you know what? I would love to do a profile. And she was all excited, so she gets to like choose anywhere in here. And for me, I get to do my favorite profile. I feel like jumping up and down. He is gonna be the best profile ever. Oh my gosh, I hope Scott videos some of this because I'm gonna be doing my pastel, but I'm gonna use this really dark blue. Even though I'm mainly only doing value, I am going to maybe use a little bit of warmth. I don't really know. The colors I chose, hey, I do have an orange. I do have that. Um, I really chose colors that were more crazy than anything, so um, I guess it doesn't really matter at all that I'm doing it on blue. Maybe I should rethink this. Huh. My black paper that I brought was so little that I almost thought it was too little. Um, hmm. Should I use this? Okay, I have a gray. It's kind of a neutral. But I like the darkness of the... I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to be flexible. I'm just going to be flexible as I go. I might actually switch papers after a few minutes. Um, Simi came and put the brush set here just so that people would know that there was a brush that they could buy. And um, people are all setting up. So this is before people can come in. There's Francis Bell, and there is Shane Wolf, and there's Jeff Hine. And... Um, talking away. It's interesting because they chose, um, you'll see, they chose an image of my work for the face-off as an, as an actual pastel, but they had no idea I was going to do a pastel. So, there you go. That's fun. I wanted to show Ali Cavanaugh's setup. She's working on some kind of watercolor board or something that's, a, you know, on those cradles. Um, she has a set here with Golden that we're going to talk to them about before we leave but look at that isn't that gorgeous so artist watercolors by golden scott's been using a lot of their acrylics and she just says that she absolutely loves these colors and they're almost like foolproof and um, these are her tiny little brushes and these are the paints and so oh my gosh that's her palette and she yes yes of course you take a break for sure i know thank you for doing that being so patient. All right. Okay, I'm nervous. I don't know what paper to use. It's gonna get very crowded. So I thought I would just walk around and see who's where. That is a very bright light. Okay. Very bright. Jason Baldine. I think he won this years and years ago. Hey, Oliver. Are you going to interview <laughs> me? Susan? Well, I thought I would do behind the scenes. Oh, come on. In front of the scene. <laughs> in front of the Oliver camera. I'm Oliver Sin. Yes. And interviewed by the most beautiful, oh, beautiful Susan. He's too, no, he's way too nice. So I have butterfly because I, I'm just, I joined 
closer to you. I'm so happy that far away. Is it who's your model? Uh, uh, I don't know. But, but it's is it a man or female? A man. Okay, good. Yeah. Easy, right? I don't think guys are easy. I like to draw you. Oh well, did you see our model? He's he's awesome. I think men are easier. I don't know. <laughs> I think so. I don't know, Susan. That way you don't have to like smooth it out so much. Mm. I'll be I'll be back around. All right, thank you. I have um the way I. So this is um, the all the behind the scenes tech. So they do all the filming. So the people who are watching it zooms and they film the demos with big cameras. It, it's I mean in the past whenever I've been in here and I've been filming, sometimes it's just so chaotic. I swear to God, I think we got the best model. Don't tell anybody. I actually kind of prayed a little bit before I picked my number and then guess what I had such a friendly actually excited artist to switch with me Ooh, someone's gonna do a sculpture there's Grace she's toning her canvas oh look at all those people waiting out there oh my god I feel so important I'm in here and they're out there waiting Tim Reese hi Wendy Corporal Ooh, she's doing pastel too. Hey, ooh. Yes. Hi, hey, How I'm doing you? pastel, but yours looks you? so much nicer and neater. <laughs> I spent two hours earlier today cleaning, cleaning them up and organizing them. Exactly, because they were such a mess. You're smart. I, well, I thought this is why. Yeah, you need a light. It's kind of dark. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good. Smart. Um, don't you just, I love how I just tell people, I just give people advice. You know, you need this. You know, that's what everyone wants, right, when they're setting up. They just need a loud mouth person to go around and say, do this, do that. They're still talking. God knows about what. Here's my sign. Ready to go. There's the ladies. <laughs> totally. I say go for it. See the Allie, I think you have a fan base. People ran in here just to sit behind you. Okay, we got to go ahead to start, so... Oh, okay. Perfect. Taking a break, so I thought. Hi. Can you ask a sure. just going around oh my gosh look at Jeff holy cow I haven't really been able to get around and look at the people's demos Jeff is such a oh my god am I gonna demo with him on Saturday who, who decided that I quit but it's a little bit hard to walk around so I'm just I wanted to show you guys anybody who can't come oh it's very very tiny little path back here and here's Shane Wolf. Oh, look at, oh my God, look at that giant charcoal. 
it's like a big um, hockey puck. Not a hockey puck, an eraser, an eraser pad. That's, that's interesting. Oh, see, he likes to do his like words, you know, his thoughts. Very, very cool. Ooh, I love how people draw. Ooh, look at that guy. Oh my God, look how good he is. It's so fun. I mean, you might as well. You have chairs. Oh, and that guy's drawing too. Wow. Oh my gosh. Ooh, of course, Oliver. I mean such a master at charcoal. Oliver has a really, really good book that he sells and teaching you how to draw. Hey! I just thought I, I mean, hi! <laughs> such sweet people. It's hard to get around. Oh my God, Liz. Liz, this is stunning. I, I feel that your super long charcoal is the key. Thank you. <laughs> I believe yeah. Really, really nice. Thank you. Oh, wow. Look at, she's got like you this can... light. She's got that light. She's got that light. Plenty of light. You have plenty of light. So you like to use the... Oh, you're using Dick Blick all, and you're using Nick. Yeah. yeah. So I've got the Soft Willow. Oh. The Hard Vine. Wait, what's this? What brand is this? Well, it used to be Creative Mark, but I... Oh. It's... Bought it See, I'm stuff. always scared of soft willow, so you like this kind. I love it. Um, oh, you okay. can move it around. A right. Paint, yeah. And it's easy to come off if you don't like it. Yeah. Because well, you know yeah. there's like some good and some not great. Right. Willow. Yes. Soft, soft willow. Yeah. 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 Oh, cool. So, Keep going. Yay. Oh, I love it. Look at all these well, people. Hey, were you, you guys were in my class last year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. I love how serious you guys are. And you just like, you were like, you ran in and you got these seats. Did you do this because of Liz and, and uh, uh, Allie? Uh, or why did you run here and sit down right here? Wanted to, uh, first of all, he's a great model. Oh, so you knew the model. No, Liz no, but uh, we, oh. as soon as we saw him, we're like, we got to draw that guy. Because you guys ran in here and sat down immediately. Yeah, we're trying to see, like, which one to pick. And, like, I know. That's why I was curious why you chose right here. Yeah, yeah, no. Just because the seats are close and... Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to get a good angle on the light, and well, I didn't know if they were going to be on the way. Well, good for you. I love it. I love seeing you guys again. <laughs> hey. Oh, my God. Look at that. That is amazing. Holy cow. That is so cool. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Look at our great model. We are so lucky to have such a fast... Great, great guy. I can't hear very well. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm just, ba I'm babbling. So I did a little sketch, and I was like a study of blue, and now I'm doing a sketch, a study of red. And um, we maybe have one more session, Scott. And have you been videoing for me? A little bit. I've been talking to a lot of people. Yeah, it's been so nice to see yeah. people. So many nice people. Here. I know it's hard to get around. I didn't really get to video over there yet, so. <laughs> There's Sue in the background talking. I don't want to share this video to send it to Cherry Down. Where's Sue? Pastels. Um, one was more of a harmony of pinks and purples, and it's such a wonderful model. I kind of did them really simple, so I didn't um, do a lot of finesse, but you know, I usually don't really even see his eyes, so that really helps. I'm leaving them kind of fun and cartoony. This is my view. I'm going to show you my other one. So this is the paper, and this is my blue one. So I'm gonna see which one people choose. 
which one they like the most to put in the, um, you know, to donate. So we're connecting California artists, San Diego, Redondo Beach, Manhattan Beach. And this is Louie, I just met him. Hey Louie. <laughs> you guys will all have to paint together. Why not? I'll just start setting up. You're done. Yay! You're it was done. so, was so oh, fast. I'll go take these to your office. Bye bye. I'll Thanks for watching. It's all good. Let me get out of your way. Bye, Jeff. Wait, wait, wait. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> are you live feeding? No, right. I'm just filming this for Susan. Uh, YouTube, maybe. Uh. I don't know. <laughs> all right. This is trying to get to the restaurant with a group of crazy artists. The most crazy of which is Kathy Anderson right here. She is... Trying to arrange a party in Simi's room. <laughs> oh, is that what we're doing? At 10 o'clock. Oh, at 10 o'clock. Yes. Okay. Well, and of course, Sue and Scott will come. We will be asleep. No, I will drag them out of bed. As I've done many, many times in the past. <laughs> well, we, Kicking and screaming. We luckily this time we told you the wrong room number for our room. So you'll be but you no, probably, you'll probably have drank so much you won't notice. You'll drag someone else out of the bed <laughs> and they'll be screaming and you'll just say, You're coming to the party. You're coming to the party. And then, and they'll, then they'll end up being your best friend. <laughs> wow, well, it's so weird to walk outside and be warm. I know, is that true? This just don't feel like home. <laughs> no. What's going to see my phone? I was about to say I need my coat. So no, I guess you don't need your coat. I guess we lost Melissa and then they probably were taking the next elevator up. I don't know. Should we wait here for a minute? She's like, no, wait Wendy, for no one. Let's that's go. the restaurant though. I know, yeah, she knows where it is, so oh, okay. um, I'll wait back and just tell her. I'll wait back and tell her we're on our way. <laughs> but you know, they'll just keep painting until they look at the model still going, so Oh, okay, Samuel Walter. Mm -hmm. Wow, very good. It's pressure painting in front of people like this. Oh, look at this model. Oh my God, great model, huh? Holy moly. Boy, the pose and everything. It's Maddie Ray, Neil. So they must just have like a minute or two left. It's pretty amazing. Good job. I think it's 10 o'clock. Yay! Oh my God, good job. Yay, all these people. <laughs> see things happen here all day they're starting to do these new um sessions at night uh with the young artists you know getting introduced to them plus also just uh they also have open sessions where people can draw you know from models because so many people want to come and they get all inspired and they want to um do art after seeing it, but Maddie did amazing. Both of them just did so good. I'm taking some time to sign these little gifts that we're giving to the people to, who showed up for our Patreon meet out. And I have a couple other little gifts, some aprons and watercolor books from Scott that will be like special and Scott's going to show a couple paintings that he's done from videos on Patreon but I'm just sitting here signing this and I'm looking out the window and it's like okay 
I can see there's a big screen TV. I don't know if you can tell. It's dressage. I actually like watching dressage. It's so fun. I mean, uh, I can't zoom in anymore. I'm sorry. But they have this outdoor seating area. Uh, I guess it's for like maybe these these buildings, office buildings to kind of come out. But nobody's watching. There's three people out there. This is the uh, restaurant we went to with a big group of people last night. Mexican Alma Cocina, maybe? And um, anyways, it's just quirky things like that. You know, looking out from your hotel room, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind watching the dressage. Yeah, I use that to, um, what's it So he makes this, and this is a website called Daybreak. Oh my gosh, it even has like a little, uh, what is it, a leveler? Yeah. And yeah, so no, he makes great. very, very small little tripod. This is exactly like what I use. And the Prashad box is tiny. I just didn't bring it because I'm just drawing. Oh, great. And that's perfect for drawing. Yeah. I'm going to look that up. So daybreakeasel.com. Yeah. So he made, he has a 20 inch and a 12 inch. And my board is 17. So he made a special one for me. I love learning new things. <laughs> hey, Hope. Hi. No, and you can use, of course, and you can use like a chair to po post your, um, oh, I don't even know if I'm going to draw. Okay. I just want to Of course, I get you. Like, I feel like it might be a little bit chaotic and busy in here. I brought my stuff, but we'll see. But people can also just use the back of a chair to, to put their, their boards up. This is good. I know she's from Trinidad. She brought, did you attend? Hi, hey, hi, grab a spot if you want to watch. You can just sit behind Scott. Definitely. Be Scott Shadow. Yes, be Scott Shadow. Sit behind me, sit behind Scott. Yes. Oh, Yeah, she's, she's a fine, top 50 finalist. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's amazing, her painting. Yeah, very good. I'm hoping people know that we changed locations. I sent out an email, but I think people will be slowly coming in. Use the top, and it works as a great tripod, so it's one less thing for me to carry, and it's much it's even more stable. That's a great idea. We just said that with her tripod because she had one of those arms, but she forgot to bring Scott the guy up here. here. So we'll, just, <laughs> we'll just take some clips, and that's a great idea. Isn't that great. Yeah. Pretty. Oh, thank you, Peggy. We were in the restaurant and we looked up and we saw Daniel Tanner painting. And um, I could have sworn I saw Jen. That must be Jen's stuff. Hey guys, we were actually sitting down in the yeah. restaurant and I looked up here and I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> this deserves to be vlogged. Okay. <laughs> Hey. Oh my God! It's really it's nice up here. It is nice, huh? Yeah, no, it's great because they're you know they don't really want you congregating down there. Uh -huh. They don't want us in the hallways like you know painting or drawing. So, and Peggy yeah. said she had to come up and take photos too. Oh my God! It's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God! It's kind of nice out. It's so overcast. Oh, there's Jen and Lily. Here's the Denver girls. Oh, and their cute little dresses. How are you? Hi. Oh. Hey, good, good to see, see you. you. We were down in the restaurant and we looked up and we saw these little heads peeking <laughs> over. And I said, we have to come up. Yeah. Oh my God. You guys are just, you know. Yeah. Which step one? Yeah. So you took your picture with me. <laughs> 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 we're with Shane and we're with Peggy and he's talking about um, we're having a little bit of a lunch here. This is, you see, that's where the artists were. I ran up there to video them. Okay, cool. And we're just talking. It's, it's kind of, it was very, very crowded, but it's not crowded anymore. So this is what the kind of the lobby slash bar slash Slash, I guess lunch restaurant. I think they have the Madrid open on the TV over there. And you just get to sit here and watch all the people go by. You get a nice look of Shane's, um, the back of his jacket. He's always dressed so nice. Our lunch table, Maddie and Shane and Peggy. 
talking about. I didn't want to actually video while we were all eating, but I thought I would just document Oh, the this sun, so and they are still yeah, up there painting. Oh my gosh. Great. <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks like it's going to be a pretty afternoon. The sun's trying to walk out. A whole new group yeah. of people. <laughs> we just sit in one place, and people just keep coming up. It's so fun. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought well, I know it's. You could go with her all by yourself. So this is a, this is kind of like the first time I'm videoing with all the people. It, last time I tried to walk through, I couldn't even get past. And this is Rosemary Brushes. Oh, here's a demo. So they're always doing demos, but you just kind of come. Oh, there's Talita again. Raymar panels and the Raymar boxes, which Scott and I totally, I mean, we, we swear by, we always, there's Tim Reese. <laughs> oh, you're about, about to do a demo? Like a 30 minute painting. Perfect! I Great! I can't wait! If my model shows up, oh. Pierre was supposed to start five minutes ago, but we're well, on Pierre time now, which is oh. half line, half time. Okay. And this is Sennelier. So yeah, it's kind of like you just keep walking around and and you just never know. Some of the demos are, some of the demos, oh, there's my book. These are all the books that you can buy. Uh, some back there also. And oh, there's some demos. This is for General's Chalks. Oh, that's interesting, how fun. Somebody's just, he must have a very, very lovely ear. I love how she's doing like the, uh, all the detail. Hi! Oh my god! Hi Leo! This is our friend Leo from Winston-Salem! I love it. Leo Rucker, he's a wonderful artist from Winston-Salem. So it's always nice to see somebody from your local area. There's um, David Casson and Shana Levinson. I love General's Talks. I love um, their pencils. They are definitely materials that I recommend to people. I use their um, Sienna Chalks all the time for my drawings. And Golden... There's Allie, so I'm sure she's going to do a demo <laughs> sometime. I'll have to catch her and make sure I come back. And Scott's going to pick up some of their Golden. Hey! And here's some Windsor Newton paints and their brushes. Oh, wonderful! So nice to see you again. Hi, how are you feeling? <laughs> Good. I'm just sort of like videoing for people that can't come. Okay, nice. I'll I'll come back around. <laughs> hey, hi. Hi. So you can come to the conference and you can pick up all kinds of materials. So this is Jack Richardson. And a lot of times they definitely give you a lot of deals. These are um, brushes, silver brush, I think. And here's Art Fix. Pick up these little panels. I really do love these panels. We have a whole bunch of them. They're like really, really sturdy boards. Um, so they have all different kinds. You know, yeah. Just, I mean, they're they're just experts in it. And some more paint. And there's usually Pashad people. I have, you know, I have the Yugo, which I love. And I also have other ones, but I like the Yugo a lot. And Michael Harding paint, which is great. Oh, and they're selling like the smaller tubes. So these are really wonderful because um, you have a really high-end paint. And um, you can try different colors now. Oh, and I love the fact that they do these little sets. So I bought those before. Somebody did a little demo here. That's the cool thing is that each um, art supplier will have artists doing little demos. Oh, here's Carrie Dunn. Harry is an amazing artist and he is a finalist this year. He teaches at Studio in Caminata.
Uh, yeah, just kind of blogging, just showing different types of art materials. Are you going to buy stuff? No, I went to Austin. Oh, oh okay. Oh, look. There's Scott. There's Scott. That's always fun to see. Oh, liquid charcoal. That's really cool. All right, really cool. So I'm gonna vote for my people. Sorry, so vote for my people's choice now. This is a, a ballot. I, it's an easy thing to forget. So sometimes you can just completely. And I had to ask for my ballots. They're not always giving them to you. So um, I'm gonna make sure to do that. There were a couple pieces that weren't here the first year. I mean, the first year. I oh, shows you how tired I am. Uh, the first day. So I'm gonna get around to those. Make sure I show those before I leave. I missed Allie's demo. She does such beautiful color combinations also. So this looks like it's about an 8x8. Eight eight. Um, yeah, 8x8, eight 10x10. Eight, ten ten. Oh, lovely. So you can buy her set of the watercolors that she loves. I'm so surprised too how small her little brushes are. I really love telling people about her because she is a modern watercolor master and people shy away from watercolor but I I just feel that you know you you don't have to have that stigma. I mean it really is is how you do oh look at that it's like iridescent on black. Oh no, oh I shouldn't have seen that. But that is amazing. I love 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 it. So this is um golden golden paint. So I've decided which one I want, so I'm standing next to the table because that's what you have to do because of the sea of people. But I just love seeing all the faces. It's a very interesting thing that we volunteer to do this. I mean, it really does bring out the animal in us. So that was a letdown. I had about six badges. I took some from total strangers. Now I have to find this lady. Um, they're having the um, silent auction. I mean, it's just so busy. I don't. People said that mine are going even more than like I would probably sell it normally. I'm like, holy cow! But good. It's all for charity. Um, it's such a, oh my god, an amazing rush to try and do that. Is this? Did you win anything? No. Oh. It's just so fun to watch Isla just get excited and play and spin and fall and make faces. <laughs> Look at her. She's probably just overly excited. And the good dad just watching. Look at that. <laughs> it's so cute. So obviously the auction, they're still doing the silent auction over there. I have no idea where Scott is. We're all gonna go out to eat. And I'm still, I'm emotionally exhausted. So Kathy was extremely lucky and got Maddie Ray. Ha, ha. Oh my gosh, she's a little drunk. But I, I wanted this one. I, I didn't know who it was, but I really wanted this one. But you have to stake your claim. You can't be at two tables. And Kathy got it. Yes, oh, good because I'm honest and I'm so <laughs> Look at that, look at what's there. But no, I, I, that is a really good one. I actually am a little heart sick. I came in a little bit early to watch Shane Wolf set up and Scott and Anna Rose Bain. Shane is setting up his model and I think Jeff and I get to paint her also. 
course, I mean, I absolutely would have loved to have her hair be big, but I don't know, maybe I'll talk about that, changing the shape. I was joking, I was like, I don't think Shane's gonna be on time. Each, Anna, Scott, and Shane get 20 minutes. But, oh, there's Shane, giant. It's like a futuristic movie. Oh, this is kind of fun. I love being able to get in places before other people do. Isn't that funny? <laughs> it's such a fun, oh look, you can see his reflection in the glass over there. Oh, I would have liked to have done a pastel. I don't know, I, I have to think things through in the future. <laughs> I will do an oil and it will be fine. It'll be a great lesson. What happens in terms of our uh, muscles of expression and the face? And since I'm going to be talking about ears today, I mean it's a it's a quick 20 minutes, so we're going to be zipping through a lot of information. But uh, I'll be shooting up here the tragus that overlaps over the concha in this section. Basically, occupies a third of the ear, the middle third, more or less. Okay, it's the same way with the. It's just a canon of proportion when we're talking about the thirds of the face. It's a suggestion that allows you to see what what anomalies might be actually happening on your live model. So that third middle bit gives you a relative idea of where to begin. If I'm looking at Cassie, by the way, her ear, that middle third of the the concha, the tragus ear, is opening. Pretty much hits the third, slightly lower than the, the midpoint, but hits a third of the ear. Okay, so. So uh, as Jessica, has she's got her uh, chin slightly up, which means my mastoid process, which is sitting right at the base of my ear, there's the, we call these sometimes the strong cords of the neck, okay, that come down to her clavicle. If you follow this down through here, do you, you know, really follow this line, and the three angles of the jaw, I know my uh, ear opening is here, which automatically gives me, what, my base of my nose, right? Base of my nose, base of my skull, back to here. Just so happens that her uh, hairdo or ponytail is kicking right at the base of that skull, so that's kind of nice. It's a nice little alignment. This drawing here, like this sort of construct, um, you know, we, this is one of those sophisticated angle things. Like she's looking down and tilting away from me. Okay, fantastic. Love those angles. The idea of wrapping around the form. Okay, base of the nose up. It's got to follow the cheekbones. And where do I hit? I know it's got to. It has to lock into my ear opening. Okay. The painting the features within the context of the whole head. I know a lot of us have different ways of starting a portrait. Some of us really like that outline method, um, working from the outside in. Some of us will do a selective start, and others, which my workshop students found out this week, um, start with just a few vertical anchor points for proportions, and then work from the inner triad of the eyes and the nose out for to hold for long. Portraiture um, usually necessitates that the subjects pose for long hours at a time, so smiling isn't usually practical or possible, but there are always exceptions, and that's why I wanted to show this photo here. Um, a few years back at the Portrait Society, Lee White modeled for some of us at the face-off, and she held that smile the entire three hours. Guys. That was so impressive. So we'll just go through them, and I'll just ramble on. I didn't really compare too well, but... Um, so... Eyes, they are my favorite thing. They're usually the center of interest for me. In a piece in school, was I had this idea, oh yeah, the whites of the eyes. And when I look into the eyes, because it's surrounded by the dark, you have the dark of the eyeball or in the shadow, you're comparing the white of the eye often right next to that dark of the eye. So you tend to make the white of the eye too light. That's, uh, so that's something. And then this is a profile here of our, of our model Bella. And one of the other things you want to be careful of is you make the dark of the eye is a little bit going to profile back from the front. It's not right at the front because, again, there's that bowl and the actual eyeball itself is further back. So you can see the highlight is kind of in front of and you have this gap. Sometimes loose is, is better. And in context of it, it will look like what you're painting. So in the larger context of it, we fill in the gaps. We know that that's an eye. Um, so, and it's the same when it's in the shadow or anything. It doesn't always have to be uh, all the details of it. So this is a bigger painting um, uh, of Lissandra, a wonderful model from Scottsdale. And this one here, so now I got a little bit of the detail, the technical stuff quickly out of the way that I want, if you want to look for that we all probably know or hear and I have to keep reminding them, uh, you know, fly on the wall observing. So this is a friend of mine uh, who is a wonderful artist and collector 
Uh, and I did this as just a gift for him because he's bought so many paintings and things. And uh, he wouldn't have wanted me to do a portrait of him. <laughs> and and, and when I gave it to him, he laughed. He's like, oh, thanks, my least favorite subject. But of course, his kids and his wife are so happy to have this painting. Oh, nice. So this was just with, with um, brown and black. Um, Last minute things. Hey, yes. Yeah. Do you need something? Can you be my husband right now? <laughs> I've always, could I be your wife instead? Sure. <laughs> Do you have that painting still? Maybe. Yeah, you want to check your glare? Absolutely, yeah. The smoother your painting comes and all that junk. Um, so I really started to do more pastels in the last couple of years because I just was, I really had like a What happens when your shadows just start to get you to a paint or two? Yeah, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. When you try to get yeah, like when you okay, that's a common. I'm glad you said that, and I don't want to put you on the spot, but I bet there's a lot of people in the room that share that question. Because it's a, in, in, in my experience with teaching, it's a common misconception on the definition of transparency. So if I put a piece of glass, stained glass, like blue, let's say it's dark blue stained glass in the room, and then I put another piece of stained glass in front of it, and another one in front of it, another one in front of it, another one in front of it, right? Eventually, it's going to get to a point where you can't technically see what's behind it. You can't see through it anymore. But it's not any less transparent. The light still, the whole point of a transparent paint is to absorb light. 
So if you have 15 layers of blue stained glass, the first five or six layers are going to absorb light until it completely dissipates, and you can't even see through it. Do you want to take a photograph of the model? Oh, okay. Do you want to take a photograph of the model? Oh, okay. Wow. Here's your camera. That is so crazy. I'm, I'm reminding you to take a photograph. Snapshot? So I interviewed these two on the podcast. The guy I heard it, it's amazing. Uh, and they were both talking about how they were doing some work in Chicago. And they were talking about how they were doing some work in Chicago. I used to turn calligraphy. And as soon as I said this, I thought, I remembered his voice. And I learned so much. I couldn't even paint anything until I started the podcast. I, I never yeah, it was crazy. But um, he said that one of the problems with painting is calligraphy. And what he meant was tricks of the mirror. Like little kitchen stuff. Like every soft head is a little you got this little trick curl you do at every stroke, you got this little trick dash you always do. She's quiet, can I bring her John? Try, I guess. Yeah. But you know what? I feel like she should have some fresh air. Sue, <laughs> <Cool>. baby. <laughs> it's hard. Panties are hard to find. So but you have to wait for me, though. So, or Scott. What did I have to I do? I can't. You have to hold the door for me. Okay, we'll do it. Sue's off. No, it's. So what happens when you just don't want her anymore? Just kind of. I think you just walk away. Just walk away. So let, let's on, go Scott. see a movie. Let's yeah. go to a bar. Yeah, exactly. Take a drink. Is she still there? <laughs> yep, she's still there. <laughs> I don't think Cindy would notice. She'd forget. Wait Simi. a minute. I left you with the baby. Oh, Cindy has no idea where this kid is. Yeah. Cindy, Cindy will see this video and you're never going to be babysitting again. <laughs> Here we are into the. Look, they're not even looking at her. Huh? They don't even know you took her, huh? Yeah, of course they do. <laughs> they no, they don't know, do they? Don't know. They don't know. They have no idea. <laughs> Are you kidding? She started to cry before, and I was pushing her, and Joe ran away. 
Yeah. All right. So you guys are filming. Hey. Is this your demo? Yeah. Whoa. It's beautiful. And beautiful painting, by the way. This is Tim. You're filming. Oh, and this is looking great. Fantastic. Oh yeah, I know. Remember a couple of years ago when she was sitting for us, or at everyone yeah. at the corner? That was so cute. So how long have you been working on this? Um, what time did this start? Like, About an hour ago. Yeah. Hour ago? Cool. Yeah. This is your third one then? Uh, <laughs> Something so like fast. that. Yeah. yeah, no, they're just in the back room. They're being stored for us, right? They were too big to stay out here. Yeah. We're gonna see Tim's. Man, it's looking great, Tim. That is beautiful. There's his palette. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> All right. Could you talk to us a, a bit more about the aging process that you're applying to the sculpture and the things that they communicate that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, you know, of course, I started starting with the, the little girl and then coming to the teenager, are the are the Hopi maiden part. Uh, her her jaw her jawline is going to be bigger. That's the first thing that makes the difference. Her nose is longer. I widen out her eyes a little bit. And then I'm not going to wipe them, wipe down the cheekbones. Writing music. It's a lot easier to write the music if you know what the key sounds like on the piano before you, before you hit it. Um, anatomy is a lot like that, where uh, you, have, you may have your models and such, but uh, having a basic understanding uh, just makes the whole thing a lot, a lot smoother. The, the bonus to that whole thing is, is the first time I did a horse, uh, I was really taken by how closely that anatomy of that horse, it sounds weird, but the, the, that horse's anatomy is very much like human anatomy. So here we go, what it looks like to have models just pop up in the hallway, making sure that everybody's just drawing and not painting. God, she was my favorite. She was such a good model.
So fun. I bet you Scott would be here if he saw it. I'm getting real tired though. I kind of need a nap. But that looked really cool. I just got off on my floor and I've never seen a hotel do this before. I think that is so hysterical. <laughs> So we just sat down um, at our table and we're very up close. This is great. Table 13, luck lucky 13. I get to watch Isla eat and all her cute expressions. Awesome table. Joe Hawkins, Jeffrey Larson, his beautiful wife, Shane Wolf, Tim Reese, Scott, and me. Oh, I forgot Kathy and Simi. <laughs> this is the Next Generation winner. They're getting their signature status awards. So, Rina Garrett. Thomas Caleb Gogans. And not in attendance is with us this evening, Chung Wei Xian. greatest minds and teachers of her time. <laughs> Jeff won the People's Choice Award, and I think he got, um, I don't know, third place? The first place oh, in draw second place. goes to David Jameson.
excited. I have new ideas and I go back to my studio every time fresh and sharp and excited to work. But there's even a greater benefit from teaching and that is the relationships that you have with the students. There's a quote from Tennyson that says, I'm the part of all I've met and I am truly a part of all the students that I have met and I cannot tell you the richness that those relationships have brought to my life. Foundation in Design and Human Anatomy. After graduating from Park City High School, he started college at the University of Utah, first as an engineering student and later switched to sculpture. After graduation, fought and struggled to make ends meet and took jobs in sales, substitute teaching, driving a delivery truck, and as a foundry worker in a local bronze casting facility. Involves a 10-year collaborative effort with fellow sculptors Kent Yulberg and Blair Buswell. Commissioned by the First National Bank of Omaha, the heroic bronze installation titled Nebraska Wilderness and Pioneer Courage depicts a historic pioneer wagon train moving west through Nebraska's wilderness during the mid-19th century and features over 100 individual bronze people. Ed Froughton's career is a testament to his resilience, innovation, and commitment. From humble beginnings to national acclaim, his monumental sculptures continue to captivate audiences, leaving an indelible mark on the world of contemporary realist sculpture. Your face. Let me let me read the inscription on the plaque, and then we'd love for you to say a few words. Who's that? Who's that with you? That's my wife, Anne. Hi, Anne. How are you? Few <laughs> words, if you can. I'd be happy to do that. <clears throat> uh, in addition to Anne, my son Ted has worked for me for probably forty-five years. So it's great to have a fabulous support system. And I, I think, first of all, I, I should congratulate all the winners. I mean, I'm, I feel sad that I can't be there, but my doctor said, no, you can't travel, so you better stay home. But thank you for accommodating me, and I wish I could be there just to meet everyone and to thank them in person. Now, when Shane first called me, I thought he'd made a terrible mistake. <laughs> And uh, a little later, I received a gold medal in the mail, and I thought, well, I still think they made a mistake, but <laughs> some medal I think I'll keep it anyway. <laughs> but we all share something really uh, terrific in the kind of work that we choose to do, and I was so amazed to see those, uh, all the uh, applicants, the, uh, the winners of the awards, and, uh, you know, I'm old fashioned to my work. I've got a lot of uh, press releases that confirm the fact that I'm old fashioned and my, my work is kind of, uh, you know, out of touch with today's modern world. But I'm so honored to receive this award. And I.
This is Sunday, the last day. People get to pick up their paintings around 10 o'clock. And I wanted to show you a couple of the paintings that came in a little bit late. So Amy Warrens, um, one third place. I'm sure you can see really good images of this on the Portrait Society website. And then the other one that came in late. There's my great model. They're, they're supposed to come here. That's what oh, I this know. one, this oh, one, first place right. sculpture. And uh, you know, this artist. Came, so do you know what's supposed to happen at with the meet and greet of the artist? Oh, <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, I think it's the top four. So this uh, exceptional merit is beautiful. Um, it says Grand Ballroom. They come in and I, oh, it's in the Grand Ballroom? Yeah, oh. Right now. Okay. I'll take a closer look at Tim's. He got first place, which was wonderful. First place drawing. Exceptional merit. Yeah, of course, you know, this video isn't as good as seeing the paintings in person. This is Mary Sauer. This is Kate Brockman. Yeah, nice show.